Today is Sunday, May 12th, 2024. And before we get started, happy Mother's Day. It looks like we might have gotten some rain last night. And uh, hopefully today ends up being relatively dry for the remainder. Granted, the sky does look a little gnarly right now and the clouds are, you know, not giving me the warm and fuzzies here, but we're gonna make the best of this day. As best we can at least, right? One day we do need to get out and ride these bikes. Y'all wanna go for a bike ride? And put these boat kayaks to use. They're inflatable, 100% inflatable with, I think it was like a military grade or astronaut grade thermoplastic that is really, really strong and resistant to puncture. I actually got a video of the first time Michelle and I took these out. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but. We'll just use the hand pump today. Okay. Maybe. these out I don't know if you guys have seen it but I guess if you do want to see it let me know drop a comment and uh, maybe I can share it on this channel for you guys I know that there are some folks watching that have been watching all along who have been watching all the channels but I also realize that we're probably picking up some new folks here on this channel with a comment that we received yesterday that says I just found the tribe and I think that you guys are really enjoying these videos but I don't know. You guys tell me. What do you think? Drop a comment. And most importantly, hit the thumbs up button. That's the easiest way for us to know that you're enjoying hanging out with us and going places with us and watching these videos. And, you know, I think it would be very, very helpful. So I would appreciate it. And thank you guys in advance. Now, we need to hurry up and get ready. And I'll explain more in detail but first i do want to say that we did get a little bit of a alarming and shocking potentially bad news and fortunately for us i think we're going to be okay but there's there's a long list and yeah it feels like it's about to hit close to home and i want to make sure that everybody's going to be okay i want to make sure that we're ready for what's about to happen to our family. And that leads me to this huge task behind me that, yeah, I continuously procrastinate and put off and have literally made zero progress on. And that could be a bad, that could, that could ultimately be really, really bad really, really soon. Now, and hopefully I'm not forced to leave and packing all this stuff up and running out of here with like my hair's on fire but i can't i really can't ignore the warning signs okay we've already got actually gotten ron DeSantis. he's the governor here in florida and he issued a state of emergency for tallahassee and a whole bunch of counties up north from the storms that we received just the other day. Uh, hundreds of trees down, tons of lightning, high winds. I think they were like near 71 mile an hour winds that ultimately are right below the threshold of being considered hurricane wind speed, which doesn't really give me a warm and fuzzy considering the fact that we've also received a warning that this hurricane season, I'm actually gonna pull it up here and see if I can, I'll tell you guys what they told me. So there you can see the state of emergency declaration for Tallahassee in North Florida. And they want me to sign up as a membership. So these counties include Baker, Columbia, Gadsden, Hamilton, Jefferson, Lafayette, Leon, Liberty, Madison, Swanee, Taylor, and Wakulla or Wakula counties. And you can see some of the damage there. There's more pictures in the gallery here 
and yeah it's pretty bad it's pretty bad hopefully everybody's okay and nobody was injured or hospitalized or killed but yeah we experienced it we experienced some of that here now fortunately we've been pretty good so far since we've been here but i don't know i don't want to take that for granted you know what i mean so i want to heed the warnings and they actually shared this one here that one's from the Cybersecurity Administration infrastructure security agency but this one says it's not a matter of if a hurricane will hit florida but when and the 2024 season the 2024 hurricane season is expected to be busier than average busier than average and i think they also issued oh man it was another major warning about hurricane preparation oh from the perspective of they're even now you guys let me know are they blowing smoke up my butt or at least trying to are they, are they pissing on me and telling me that it's raining they are introducing a tax-free incentive for hurricane prep or is this just to drive sales and boost numbers for retailers what do you think so currently it's a little bit past 7 a.m this mother's day and we actually have plans to meet friends for breakfast, brunch, and of course, mimosas. Now, this was actually a request by Michelle, and she says, the only thing I wanna do for Mother's Day is nothing. <laughs> she goes, I don't wanna cook, I don't wanna clean, I don't wanna record, I just want to spend time with my family and my friends. I wanna go to breakfast at one of my favorite places for breakfast. Can you guess, can you guess which favorite breakfast place we're going to and speaking of breakfast we actually need to do something with this freezer here we got this pour over we're making coffee this is actually everything we ended up taking out of the van we don't have the van anymore we got this keurig here and there's tons of other you know kitchen utensils and items we even have this uh portable coleman uh dual burner propane cooktop there's a lot of stuff in here we need to go through storage containers yeah so much stuff in here toaster <laughs> i think she's even got another i think she's got a, oh yeah this kettle she's got another electric kettle we took out of the van and like we literally i think we're gonna end up like just donating it or giving it away maybe we did find a local garage sale yard sale setup sort of where i think it's at a church so you know a lot of people here don't necessarily have their own house to facilitate a garage sale yard sale so the church offers up their parking lot then people can bring stuff in we may end up entertaining that from time to time just to see how much we can get rid of and so yeah i think it's pretty cool that we are building this community we're building this family here of folks that you know i feel like we're connected so if anybody can guess that's that's how well you know us if anybody can guess it's really like a top two maybe top three of michelle's favorite breakfast brunch places drop it in the comment down below and we're going to meet friend that was her request and besides that she wants to watch movies and so actually we started that last night and last night we ended up going and watching godzilla godzilla x godzilla x kong or something like that i honestly don't remember the name of this movie godzilla x kong the new empire we watched that and uh you know it's actually kind of funny we've talked about this before but there was literally us and four other people in the theater on a Friday, uh, Saturday night. We are looking forward to some new movies coming out that we do want to catch in theaters. But I just, I just, I just feel like the whole movie theater experience is about to come to an end. There's just not enough people. I just, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I don't know how they're turning a profit if, if they even are. I, you know, it, it's sad and unfortunate. But you know, it's like, it's evolution, I guess. You know, we have to accept that. The only constant in this life is change. Isn't that right, Sarah? Yeah, we got a chance to meet Sarah the other day. Did you guys see that on the video? I wonder how many more subscribers we'll end up meeting maybe this year. 2024 may be the year of meeting more subscribers. Would you want to meet up? So, you know, we, we, we at one point we had drive-in movie theaters, right? And, they, and then they faded away. And, you know, we had big cinemas and theaters and 
they're slowly fading away. So maybe this is just it, you know? What will replace them? What will replace them? Pop-up theaters, maybe pop-up theaters, like outdoor pop-up theaters or something like that. I don't, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Uh, but yeah, I got some comments here from you guys. Pretty cool stuff, what a fun time. Thanks for bringing us along. Thanks for watching, thanks for joining us. You know, you guys really help inspire and motivate. Now, I'm not saying that we wouldn't have done this otherwise, but to create and capture this, to share, for this connection and communication and also realizing that, you know, I think that it is beneficial and helpful for those who, who don't have the ability to be mobile and travel and go around different places. I know for a fact that Michelle and I, we enjoy watching Kara and Nate and their extravagant travels and not so much that we couldn't physically, but you know, with other restrictions and limitations and our financial, you know, situation and also the fact that Michelle doesn't like to fly that much and, you know, strange cuisine throughout the world would probably wreak havoc on our digestive systems. <laughs> we live vicariously through them and we really do enjoy it and we appreciate it. So uh, I'm glad that we could be a part of that for, for someone else, for some, some few thousand somebody else's because we are now over 8,000 subscribers and the channel now has... 8,429 at the time of recording this. So, man, thank you guys so much. This is really, truly amazing considering the challenges that we face here. Some of you guys may be aware, some of you guys may know. And uh, the Critter Creek USA says, just found the tribe, way cool. That is way cool. Critter Creek USA, did you? is this your first Squirrel Tribe channel that you found and you subscribed to? Because Sarah replies, Check out her other channel, Squirrel Tribe 2.0, Squirrel Tribe, and his channel, Kevin247. I really do appreciate you guys joining us. It means a lot. Now, my goal with these videos is always to bring you guys something cool, something fun, something lighthearted, something that really puts a smile on your face, makes you happy, makes you laugh. And I actually experienced that yesterday while recording. I've got this video that I've working on and Michelle ended up helping me with the video. And while recording, we had so much fun. We were laughing, we were cracking up, we were, we were just having a good old time, right? And still able to deliver the message that we were trying to deliver in this video. So after we're done, I then begin to work on putting this video together to edit. And this video ended up being like an hour long. It's a super long video, but if from start to finish, I think it's a great video. And while working on this edit, I realized something. I, 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 I saw something, I felt something that ultimately it, it made me, <clears throat> it made me want to cry. But I'm not trying to do that here, okay? I'm, I'm trying to keep this light. I'm trying to keep this, I'm trying to keep this upbeat, okay? But I can't ignore the fact. I can't ignore my emotions. I can't. Um, pretend that I'm not a human being. I'm not a real person. And we've come a long way. We really have. But unfortunately, I've also come to the point of realizing that nothing lasts forever. And so with that being said, I think it's very, very important that we cherish all that we have together while we still have it. And I want to share that with you guys. Cherish all that you have while you do get the chance to enjoy it. Now, I don't know where we go from here, but I hope it's in a good direction. Now, I don't remember, it might've been a month, maybe two months ago when we kind of had a similar conversation like this, and it was a turning point. It was a turning point. And it was a little bit of an ups and down, you know, highs and low, peaks and valley, ebb and flow. And here we are yet again. And I'm trying to really wrap my mind around and my head around the direction and how we proceed from here. And you guys have been nothing but great and supportive all the way through. And that's why I feel it's so important for me to share with you first. So um, please bear with me. Please, you know, uh, don't worry. Don't worry about us. Keep, let's keep these vibes positive, okay? Let's keep these vibes positive and good vibes, right? That's what we want. And I promise you that it'll all work out. 
And when it's all said and done, I'll let you guys know where we end up and, you know, what the future will look like. Now I'm gonna go get ready. I gotta wake this kid up because she claims she wants to eat with us and she's not really good about getting up early. And we're gonna try to get in early because we expect there to be a pretty large rush and crowd for folks wanting to eat breakfast at this place. And we're gonna need a table of like six. So we have our work cut out for us. Maybe I'll record a little bit of it and share it with you guys. If you wanna see that video of us kayaking for the first time, let me know, drop a comment. You can always come check us out on Patreon. We post more over there. We have different tiers for members who want to help support. We also have free tiers where we post plenty of content for everybody. So with that being said, you guys have a great, fantastic, wonderful Sunday. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your support. We love you guys, and we'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye.